Hi, this is Mario Gonzalez from class T913. Here's my ID. And this is my review of the video Morphology Crash Course Linguistics 2. The video starts trying to explain what a word is. Most of us uh, know the simplest definition, which is that a word is a letter or a group of letters with spaces around it. But in linguistics, this gets a bit complicated. Dictionary makers define an entry or a unit uh, as the biggest unpredictable combination of form and meaning. These units are called lexemes or lexical items and form part of a lexicon, that is another word to call the dictionary. Unpredictable means that we cannot guess the significance of a lexeme by looking at its separated parts. For example, the word rabbit hole refers to the house of a rabbit, but it also means a really complicated situation. On the other hand, we have terms like cold water, uh, that is just that, water that is cold. We can see the whole significance of the term by just looking at the separated parts. So, a word with meaning of it, uh, by itself, it's a lexeme, but several words combined all together uh, without a predictable meaning can also be lexemes. In contrast of lexemes, we have morphemes that are the smallest unpredictable combination of form and meaning. We have all forms and kinds of morphemes. Uh, we have free morphemes that are the words that stand alone, like house, car, sky. We have bound morphemes, like the S that we use to, use to make the plurals. Uh, we have the group of affixes, um, prefixes, like on in unhealthy. Uh, suffixes like ing in running, infixes that, that are placed in the middle of the root like the s in the word cups full to make the plural, uh, circumfixes uh, that are affixes with two parts and like the couple in and id in the word inhumanity, uh, we have compounds of morphemes, fusional morphology and so on. To construct like seams we can visualize uh, morphemes as fitting together like the parts of a plant. The central part is the root and the affixes that are fixed or stuck uh, into it are the branches. When we add an affix to a root, the new unit becomes the stem for the next morpheme and so on. In conclusion, when linguists need to be really precise when referring to the word word, they will talk about morphemes. However, if this is not the case, it's totally okay to keep talking in terms of words.